What's going on, New Life Veterans? JB coming to you live. I just want to shoot a couple of videos um, in succession. The other day we were talking about some house rules, but uh, today I want to talk about uh, if you're trying to go for an increase uh, on existing service connection, like 30% for PTSD or 30% for unspecified depressive disorder or anything that's low ball rated. So there's some things you got to do for as a foundation concern to make it stick. Um, and I want to talk about that tonight uh, while it's on my mind. I'm, I'm still doing consultations. I'm in between one right now. And I wanted to shoot this because it's impaired. I want y'all to get the mindset of if your symptoms are getting worse and you're going to private doctors instead of going to VA doctors, you got to be in communication with your VA healthcare as well. And one of the things that you can do is open up a My Healthy Vet account, a premium account to be exact. Uh, you can call the 1-800 number 827-1000 if you don't have a My Healthy Vet account, a premium account, you want to do that ASAP. Uh, so you can send a secure message and allow them to know or to alert them to know that you are uh, getting worse or you have been diagnosed for unspecified uh, depressive disorder and that is getting worse. If you don't, if they don't know already that you are diagnosed with a mental health or whatever dis disability that you may have, um, you got to have something that they're going to pull from right away and identify that you've been complaining about something because their standpoint is reasonable doubt and they're going to doubt you every step of the way if you don't seem credible. So one of the things to do is make sure that your outpatient game is right. I talk about it a lot. Uh, within the, the New Life Veterans group. I talk about it on YouTube channel as well. And this video may be very well playing on YouTube channel. I don't want to have to regurgitate a lot of information. But if you're a newcomer, you got to understand that that outpatient health record, that electronic health record, that VA can help you or hurt you. Okay. So some of you right now have medical insurance with private doctors, but you're not communicating with the VA ahead of time of your claim. What do I mean by that? You know that you have an intent to file that you already set up. You call the 1-800 number, told them that you're gonna be filing an intent to file for compensation effective immediately, but you're not talking to the VHA side of the house. You're only talking to the VBA side of the house, the Veteran Benefits Administration. You need to be communicating with the VHA as well, even if you're bougie and you got insurance from your private uh, insurer. So um, you want to uh, communicate through the electronic health record by sending a secure message to your primary care physician if you already have one. If you don't, um, try to get uh, one um, that you can communicate with and annotate that. Another thing you want to also do is tell them that how is it getting worse in that email uh, that you're sending that secure message. And they're probably going to schedule you an appointment at that point to, to, to investigate or to examine and to make those uh, symptoms uh, very visible on your electronic health record. Why am I bringing it up? Because I know that you're going to be filing and the first place they're going to look, you know, VA regional office, is your outpatient game at the VA. How is it? Is it up to snuff? Is it complaining about the, um, the vertigo that you have now that you're losing balance and you know that your service connected for tinnitus? Have you communicated with them a secure message? Uh, you have all this technology on your phone and you're not utilizing the very resource that's going to help you and pay you into the future. Um, every time I got a diagnosis, I made sure that my electronic health record was annotated. Uh, not only that, but I made sure that I send a secure message to every doctor specialist that I went to at the VA, made sure that I had them to make it uh, visible on my problem list. If you go into My Healthy Vet under your blue button, uh, there's a section called problem list and you can see all of your problems your complaints of telling the VA that you have uh, PTSD that you have a, a sleep apnea that you have you know a lot of guys you know they have sleep apnea but they got the sleep apnea test done by their private employer but they haven't contacted the VA and let them know that yeah I'm on a CPAP machine and then all of a sudden you're filing a claim and you say yeah I've had a CPAP machine since 2016 but it was with Kaiser Permanente instead of with the VA. It's okay that it's with Kaiser Permanente or any other private health insurance, but you want to let them know, look, man, I went to a sleep study test back in 2016. These are my, I want to forward over my sleep study results. I want to let you know I am on a CPAP machine because you're letting them know pre-game that you are um, suffering from that issue, number one. And number two, um, you're making it easy for them to make a decision 
that you now have a current diagnosis and you've been had sleep apnea a long time ago, you just haven't let them know. So you're not kind of blindsiding them, if you will, to uh, make that claim more smoothly, okay? So there's two things, letting them know that you got outside stuff going on with your private employer uh, by sending a secure message so you can get your appointment set up and document the electronic health record. And number two, also that problem list, okay? That problem list better be uh, updated. Uh, I mean, I I made them, I'm, I, they got sick of me. Every time I, I turn around, I was sending a secure message. Hey, listen, I'm looking at my problem list. I don't see sleep apnea on here. I don't see hypertension on here. I don't see um, PFB, my shaving. I don't see that on my problem list. I want that to be visible. Without a shadow of a doubt, I want that to be visible. The main thing, when they pull in that record, bam, okay, this guy has a diagnosis. Bam, he's been complaining. Bam, he went to, he came over here to see us on this day. And this doctor, every time you see a doctor, it's annotated. All the data is annotated on the electronic health record. So if you, you know, done a kind of consultation with me and you know that, you know, we're going for an increase from 30% to a 70% or 30% to 50%, you need to get right away to that electronic health record immediately. You need to let that electronic health record be your friend, okay? Even if you're not a New Life Insider and you're just a free New Life and Veterans uh, subscriber, you're in the group, or you're just looking at this video on YouTube, you need to have your pregame ready if you know already, in fact, that you're going to do a, uh, a claim for those particular disabilities, okay? So you want to communicate. The Department of Defense and um, the VA normally supposedly work out together and talk to each other, okay? They're making investments and in, in leap strides and bounds to have the Department of Defense uh, communicate with the VA uh, when it comes to health records. But we don't want to hate, we don't want to wait till they get this all ironed out. And you know how long it takes for the VA to really get something streamlined and seamless. They have a lot of hiccups at first. So with that being said, I hope this video helped you. If you're on the fence and like, man, how do I get this increase? Well, it starts with you. Let's get that pregame right. The last thing you want to do is submit a claim and you blindside your rater, you blindside your CMP examiner with a diagnosis that you have from your private employer and you did not let them know and now you're filing for the first time or second time or third time and then they got to look, they have a duty to assist. They'll tell you that, but let's face it. I mean, what VA realtor is getting paid that kind of money is going to go searching for all this stuff from your private health records. They're supposed to do it, but they even lose uh, Nexus letters information. If they do that, you know they're going to lose something when it comes from your private employer or drop the ball by re retrieving that information. So with that being said, I don't wanna make this video very long. Hey man, let's get your pregame right. Let's get your uh, a problem list annotated. Let's get your all your uh, secure messages over to the VA for the VHA uh, to communicate to the VBA. I know you probably say I'm using all these acronyms. The Veteran Health Administration is not communicating with the VBA. Sometimes you gotta make it happen. You gotta force it. And also another thing I want to cover is if you filed something previously or you've been saying, let's, a prime example, you've been going to the VA about PTSD and you know damn well you don't have proof of a service treatment record that you went to sick call for PTSD or number two, you know damn well your buddy have, didn't see what you saw or he's dead now and you can't find him, you know that PTSD claim is, is, is in the tank. So you, you, a lot of people are starting to claim a lot of PTSD claims and don't can't even prove it and you're going to get diagnosis at the VA with a PTSD diagnosis and getting the meds but you got no way uh, in hell to prove that you had a traumatic event that happened from a buddy or from your electronic health record at the when you serve active duty so don't be so quick to go ahead and file for uh, PTSD when you can go on the back end and have an anxiety or you can have a uh, unspecified a depressive disorder or depressive disorder or major depressive disorder secondary to something you are already receiving a lot of chronic pain. It may may not your your pain and your symptoms, your suicidal thoughts um, may not even be coming from um, that PTSD claim. It can be coming from that chronic pain. With that being said, I'm signing out tonight. I'm having my hookah. Thank you for watching. I'm 100% permanent total Navy Desert Stone veteran. I'll talk to you soon.